Hey folks, Andy Kim Wheat here once again. How you doing with another guitar session? Tips, tools, and tricks that we're going to use to integrate into the tune by Steve Tilson and Chris Smith are called Just Can't Shake These Blues. Great song. And what we're going to do uh, is just learn the riff that's utilized and the chord structure for the song. And I'm not going to teach you the whole song note by note. And why do you know why? Because I don't believe in playing a song by the original artist the way the original artist did it. I just assume you hear the original artist instead of hearing you doing a a cover version of it exactly how they did it. So that being said, I'd rather you learn the tune or the structure of the tune, the finger picking elements that go into it, take those elements into your own style and make the song yours during the time you perform it. Okay. Um, uh, so most of you know, I don't teach whole songs here. I never did, never will. I want you to learn a song on your own. I'm just going to teach you some of the techniques that are used. And then you take those techniques and integrate them not only to that song, perhaps, but other songs, even your own songs, okay? With some of the tips I'll show you about how to finger pick and play and get more out of the acoustic guitar. Um, the song Just Can't Shake These Blues is C, A, G, A, C, A, G, A, C, A, G, A. Those are the chords, right? And then we're going to take a D7 with an F sharp in the bass. That's a third in the bass. It's one, two, three. This would be regular D7. So really I'm building is not in the F sharp here. Bringing this finger up here to play it. Bringing this finger up to the A note on it, which is the second fret of the third string. Leaving this finger here. Cool, cool way to play D7. Okay. So it goes from D7, E, E7, D7, E7, 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 F sharp in the bass. Now how do we get the little melody out of the those chords? I'll play the melody first by itself. See that? And then... You get it though, right? So let's see if we can play that melody. Let's figure out how we're going to integrate that little melody while playing the chords at the same time. Okay? That's what we're doing. C. Here you go. There's the melody. Bom, bom, bom. A chord. G. Slow, okay. C, A, get that note. C, A, G, do that. E7. 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 And I throw in a double stop. You don't have to do that.
uh, other part of the course. It's like an A minor. I'm just going to borrow the fifth fret. on the, or the fourth finger on the eighth fret. Try that. You can call some really neat things with that shape, by the way, just getting off subject just for a second. Watch this. See, take that and do something with it if you want. Okay. Anyway, back to you just can't shake these blues. Sorry about that. You just get carried away sometimes doing this and come up with ideas for you. Um, so let's do that. Where are we here? Peace, hang around, play with it. I wish there was more to show you for that tune, but there isn't. That's really all there is to it. Do you have any questions? Drop me an email at lessons at andykimball.com. 